Hi everybody, today I will show you how to create mega menu in Astro theme. So let's begin. Alright, so to create the mega menu in Astro theme, the first thing that we need to do is to have the Astro theme activated on our WordPress. So for that, what we need to do, we have to go inside the appearance and click on the themes. And here you can see this, the Astro theme is already activated. But if you haven't installed the Astro theme, what you can do, you'll simply click on add new theme. And here you will simply search for Astro theme. Okay, so you can see this. We have the Astro theme here. All right, so right now we have already installed and activated the Astro theme. Otherwise, you will be able to see the option of install just like this. All right, so after activating the Astro theme, what we need to do, we have to go inside the plugins and click on the add new plugin. And here you have to search for Max Mega Menu. You can see this we have the mix mega menu at the top of the search so let's click on install now and let's click on activate all right so now first we'll go into our website so let's click on visit site and now you will be able to see the menu that we have currently on our website all right so now if i just hover over the about you will be able to see a lot of the different options here you can see here so these are the different sub menu options that we have on the about menu item okay so how can we create the mega menu with the help of plugin that we have installed? That is really easy. You'll first go into our WordPress dashboard. And from here, you have to go inside the mega menu. So let's just refresh this now. And now you'll be able to see mega menu option. So let's click on this. All right. So here you can see this. We have the four different options. So we have the menu location. We have the menu themes. We have the journal settings and we have the tools. Okay. So in the menu locations, we have the primary menu, secondary menu, off canvas menu and logged in account menu and footer menu. So since we are right now only using the primary menu, so I simply click on this and you will be able to see the different options here. So the first one is to enable the mega menu on the primary menu. So I'll simply check this and the second thing is the event. So in the event, we basically select the event that would trigger our sub menus. And after this, we have the effect. And we have the effect on the mobile and we have the theme. So in the theme, we would go here with the default value. Okay. And we also have the advanced options. So in the advanced option, you will be able to see the different options. So we have the click event behavior. Uh, we have the mobile sub menu behavior. We have the mobile sub menu default behavior. And you can also see the other options here. And in the last, we have the display options. Okay. So now let's just go back to the general settings and we have enabled this. So I'll just simply click on save changes again. All right. So now I will simply go inside the menu themes. So in the menu themes, you will be basically able to style your mega menu. Okay. So right now, if I just go back to our website and refresh the page, you will be able to see the different menu here. Okay. You can see here, we have this menu here. All right. And you can see all of these menu options here. So don't worry about this. We're going to simply fix this. And you can also see the design is not looking really great. Okay. So how can we fix this? We can simply fix this with the help of menu theme here. So let's go back. Okay. So here you can see this. The first thing that we have the theme title and then we have the arrow and then we have the line height. That is cool. We have the Z index. We have the shadows and these other values. Okay. So first we need to adjust the styling on the menu bar. So we have to go inside the menu bar. Okay. So in the menu bar, we have the menu height that was fine. And then we have the menu background color. So I would basically like to change the color. So you can see here right now we have the black background color, but I would like to change this into the white color. Okay. So let's go back and let's just change the color to the white and also the second color. All right. And after this, we can also add some padding if I wanted to and add the border radius. But let's just leave this the way it is. Okay. And after this, we have the menu item align. So that would be left right now. And we have the item phone. So I just change the color to the black because I changed the background color to the white. So that is why we have to change the item color as well. And also on the hover effect. So that will be the black. Okay. That would look fine. Okay. And after this, we have the item background and the item background on the hover. So I just keep the values like this. And we have the item spacing. So let's just try to add the 80 px here. And after this, we have the item pairing, we have the border. So you can simply change the values if you want to. 
but right now I just wanted to add some spacing and I wanted to change the font color and the background color okay so let's click on save changes now let's just go back into our website let's just rephrase this all right so now this is looking way more better than before so you can see this we have the spacing in between our menu items and we have our text in the black color that is looking good so now what we need to do we have to create the mega menu on the about menu option or the menu item okay so how are you gonna do this that is really easy we'll simply go back so the design part is looking okay right now so i won't do any change right now on the design so after this we also have the mega menu options so in the mega menu options, you can see this we have the panel background color okay and we have the panel width and we also have the padding border so you can simply change the values here if you want to and we also have the widgets so in the widgets we have the title font color and also the padding margin so you can basically change the values here or play around with these values as per your requirement okay all right so after this we have the fly out menu we have the mobile menu we have the custom styling but right now i'm not going into these okay so now let's just go into our appearance and click on the menus all right so now you can see our menu here so we have the home we have the about and then we have the services projects and the contact but in the about we have all of these sub item options okay so how can i make this look better or how can i create the mega menu out of this that is really easy what i need to do i just simply click on the mega menu on the about menu item so let's click on it and now you can see this everything is in the single column okay so the first thing is that i would like to divide this into the three columns so let's add one more column and one more all right so let's just drag these and put this in the second column all right so now this is looking better so now let's just add some option in our third column as well so i would only add two options maybe okay so this is looking fine right now so now we have the three different columns so I will just simply close this and now I simply save this and now if I just go back into our website refresh the page and hover over the about now you'll be able to see we are having the three columns of our sub menu options or the sub menu items okay so that is how we can create the mega menu and even if I wanted to add the other things in this I can simply do this so for that I will simply go back so for example i wanted to add the image in our mega menu so i just simply click on the mega menu and you can see the option of the select a widget to add to this panel so i just simply click on this and now you will be able to see a lot of the different options here so i can simply add the archive pages i can add the calendar i can add the card categories custom html and you can see bunch of the different options here so we can add the gallery and also the images so right now i'm going to go here with the image and you can also see the text and the video as well so let's just go here with the image right now and you can see this the image is added image widget so let's just put this into the third column and i'll just simply click on this icon edit because i have to add the image here so if i wanted to add the title here i can simply add the title too so let's add the title here that would be maybe featured image or something like this and now i simply add the image so i just want to go here with the logo of our website so let's click on this click on add to widget now we have to save this so now if i just close this and if i just save the menu again and simply go back to our website refresh the page and hover over the about now you will be able to see our image here and also the title of it and now even if i wanted to categorize my sub menu items like into the different sections i can also do this so how can we do this that is really easy we we'll simply go back into our menus and i'll simply drag these options so if i wanted to add the cart inside the shop so let's put this here and put this here all right and let's just add the landing page inside the new page sample contact and i will add the orders into our shop and also the addresses all right and similarly let's just add 
the login and the registration inside the new page okay so let's just add these details into the account details okay so obviously we have to categorize the pages accordingly but right now i'm just doing this for the sake of example so just click on save menu and now if i just go back into our website and refresh the page you will be able to see categorize options here so you can see this we have the account details then we have the new page then we have the shop and inside that we have all of these sub menu options and after this we have this featured image okay so that is how we can create the mega menu in the astro theme so if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe the channel